Hello, William here for the Website Guru. This is a basic website design tutorial showing you how to customize page not found error messages to redirect a desired web page. So please watch the following video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get all the new up-to-date website tips and tricks videos. Visit www.youtube.com slash website guru. Thank you and enjoy. Something you may have regularly come across when browsing the web is a page or message appearing saying page not found. For whatever reason the page you've tried to visit doesn't exist or doesn't exist anymore. An example of this, I've gone well I've got a demo site open here and if I type in a random set of letters and press enter I get this a not found error. This is a standard this is a standard message from the server and this is known as a 404 error, 404 not found error. However, you can change this to become more useful to your visitors because when people see this on your site, let's say, if, if you've got any pages that aren't working or you know any pages that may have been removed but the links are still there, then when they see this message they have to press the back button they may not do that so you can make things easier and more helpful for them and you can do so using HT Access and again I'm going to refer to the very useful htaccesstools.com site there's also many other tutorials and articles free article tutorials and tools online to help you work with HT Access, which is a feature of the Apache web server, which is the most popular web server online. And you'll need to check with your web host whether they support HT Access, but many do, if not most do. And you want to make use of the error document feature. So you can choose for which error messages, which server error messages you want your own unique pages to appear for. So 404 is not found, 403 is forbidden, 500 is internal server error. You can just fill in the blanks there easily. But I'm just going to focus on 404 this time because that's the most common one, common error message I would say. So let's say for example, just in this example, if someone tries to access a page and it's not found, I'm going to redirect them to Google. Very simple. So let's create that. Scroll down. And that's it, just one line. So let me right click and copy that. Minimize the browser. Minimize FTP. Now I've got a .ht access file here on my desktop. It's just a well, if I drag it into TextPad, which is my text editor of choice, it's just blank, as you can see. So I'm going to edit, paste the line I just copied. Okay, file, save, close, go to FTP, and there's, on the right is my demo site, which is just empty of any files. On the left is my desktop. I'm going to drag the HT Access file. I've just updated. Just updated. I'm going to upload it to my website. Yes. And actually, it's recommended you upload this HT Access file into the root of your website, which is, in other words, don't put it in any subfolders. Upload it to the root. So there it is. So back to the browser. And actually, actually, if I return to FTP, I'm going to create, I'm going to right click and create a new folder. Let's just call it subfolder. Okay. Back to the browser. Now, if I type in www.demo site1.info slash subfolder, that appears okay. There's nothing there, but it, it appears fine. But now if I add an extra folder which doesn't exist and press enter I'm redirected to Google so let's go back and if I go to the root of the domain 
that's the root, no subfolders. And again, if I type in, let's say, demo.html as a full as an address that doesn't exist, press enter. And again, I get redirected to Google. So that's how you can use HT Access to make your 404 page not found error messages much more useful and helpful to your visitors. You can send them to your to a search function on your site, for example, or to a site map, or to a page of your choosing. And rather than potentially losing the visitor because they may not press the back button, or they may not, they may not, for example. Uh, navigate manually to the to your home page. It just makes it your website easier to use and more and more helpful to your website visitors.